Okay, this is just a quick update on my uh, non-stop running devices um, at over two and a half years. And if you go back in my video files, you'll see uh, some other videos that I try to document this every six months or so. And these uh, devices along the shelf here are uh, some of my projects that were successes that uh, I have just called the non-stop running devices. They run uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, week after week, month after month, and now year after year. Now, what they are is they're devices that run on microamps. And so some of them are actually battery powered and some of them are solar powered. And uh, of course, this is the most successful one. This is the Laser Saber Easy Spin that, uh, like I say, it's over two and a half years. It's never stopped. It's actually gaining speed. Um, and what that is, it's a... Um, solar panel out of a keychain solar light with uh, two supercapacitors that hold the energy during the day it, it uses less energy than the solar panel puts out so the supercapacitors hold the extra then it runs all night long on the energy contained in those 2.7 i think they're four fared each uh, in series so um, that's how that one runs. Uh, this is another one that I actually uh, am running it on batteries. It's microamp uh, power, so it runs a long time. This is an interesting one uh, and an update. Um, I found out that you can solder the batteries together and get away from the corrosion about that happens on the long-term running devices with corrosion on a battery holder. So just solder them up and let them run. And this is another one that... Uh, um, runs like that that one there is a soldered battery it's hardwired in there and it's a microamp uh, this is um, the one that runs on the homemade battery that uh, runs all the time now the one down there that's like that that one is also running on a super capacitor with a solar cell and it runs all the time this is the latest thing i discovered was you can um, use a super capacitor with a solar cell solar panel and get the microamp uh, devices to run all the time without using a battery. So that was a big thing. Now I'm going to come over here real quick and show you something else. This uh, granddad will enjoy. This is my junk table. This is at my other house where I just fiddle with things. And for some reason, some of us have a mind that can look at a situation like that and it triggers creativity. It seems like chaos, but for some reason, some of us have minds, and Granddad's like this also. If you look at his channel, um, the chaos for some reason helps in creativity. Why, I don't know. Anyway, that's just a side note. Um, like I say, this is at my other house that I come up to uh, once in a while, and this is the other one here that I wanted to show. And this was the Yearling Project that I wanted to have something that ran a year on a um, AAA battery. And that one there was stopping and starting and stopping and starting. And finally, I discovered that the coil was moving and stopping that. So I put a rubber band around the coil and that stopped that from stopping. And now this one has been running for months and months and months on the AAA battery. And I wanted to see if it would run a year based on calculations that it would do it. I think this will be just fine. But here again, that battery is put in there with a friction contact. And I've had trouble with corrosion happening where the battery contacts the uh, battery holder. And if you solder the battery in for something that's gonna run a year or two years or whatever, you can eliminate that problem. I seem to have solved the, the friction bearing problems on all my motors. Over the course of time, um, I've solved that problem. This is running on a tempered glass um, bearing at the bottom with that needle, and that solved the bearing problem. Anyway, that's the update on my non-stop running devices at uh, over two and a half years. In August, it will be three years. Thanks for watching.